I'm Jessica Thiele. I'm a journalist working in consumer electronics. With the number of new products coming onto the market, choosing the right one is an increasingly difficult task. So my colleague Brian Daniel and I thought it might be useful if we passed on to you some of the things that we discover in our regular work that might help you make the right choices. In this tech guide, we are looking at LED ultra portable projectors. We tell you the basics of how they work and what you can do with them. We have chosen three similarly priced products to show you some of the differences. And we give you some hints and tips on how to buy the right one. I hope you enjoy it. Let's look at the advantages of, of LED projectors. They come in all shapes and sizes, but we're looking here specifically at the ultra portable class. What that means is that they're small, lightweight, compact, they're self-contained devices. They frequently contain built-in audio. They have the PC-less presentation technology, which means you can put your presentation onto a memory stick or an SD card. They are compatible with a large range of sources. You can hook them up to your laptop, your tablet PC, or you can use a Blu-ray player for watching movies. The uh, other advantages of LED are a feature called instant on off. What that means is you don't have to wait for the normal time that you have to wait for a conventional projector for it to warm up or cool down when you finish using it. Just pack it away straight away. There are some environmental advantages. Uh, UHP lamps use mercury as, as part of their technology. There is no such um, uh, uh, hazardous material used in LED projectors. They also are fairly economical to run in terms of their power usage. So they're cheap and they do very little environmental damage. I think a lot of people would find a projector useful in their work and they'd like to have one at home. But the cost of buying them and operating them and the running costs with replacement lamps and so on has been a big deterrent. So what's happening now with the advent of LED technology for lighting Unlike a conventional projector bulb, which lasts, lasts maybe two to three thousand hours, um, an LED light source can last between twenty and thirty thousand hours. Now, the cheapest bulb I've seen for replacing a conventional bulb in a projector is £159. All of the models we have here today are priced at £499. So £159 as a replacement bulb is a lot of money in relation to the projector. With the advent of brighter LED light sources, almost every projector manufacturer, certainly all of the familiar consumer electronics names, will have a projector in this class. Are there any real differences between these projectors? They seem to have all the same specifications. Well, yeah, you're right on the surface. I mean, they they all have um, uh, they're all priced at four hundred and ninety nine pounds. They all have LED light source. They all have a number of options in terms of what you can plug into them to project. But there are some subtle differences, and it's more to do with the intended usage than it is to do with the technology itself. So here we've got three models. This is the NEC L fifty W, and it's probably the most businessy of the of the projectors that we have here. It's designed for presenting clear digital images, bright digital images of documents like PowerPoint presentations, spreadsheets, Word documents, things of that nature. Um, and to help that, it has features which are quite common on these projectors, which are the PC-less presentation, so-called. In other words, you can put your presentation, your PowerPoint, onto a, a USB stick or an SD card, plug it in the back, turn up to your meeting, and off you go. This one from ViewSonic, this is called the PLED W500. This is, again, primarily a business projector. It, it's it's, it's um, designed with all the same features as the NEC. It has the PC-less presentation. Um, it, it's, it's, it's easy to use. Like all these LED projectors, you turn them on and it just starts working. There's no warming up or cooling down at the end of it. You just put it down, start showing you put your presentation, and away you go. The thing that makes this one quite good, in our testing we found that it has some nice consumer features. So, for example, mum or dad could take this out to work with them on the road or whatever, doing their presentations in the week, come home at the weekend, and it's fantastic for watching films with the family. This is the Vivitec QME. 
This is a, has a slightly different position in a different way to the other business projectors that we've already seen. This is a device which is designed to be sold to consumers and has some business capabilities. Has the PC list presentation features uh, as we've seen before. In terms of brightness, it's mid-range. It's 300 lumens within the new era class. Uh, at one extreme, we have the real Picos, which are the little pocket projectors that look like this, or they're embedded into still cameras or camcorders. This sits somewhere in between, and it's ideal really for groups of friends to share content, to share movies, uh, photographs, uh, and music. Um, that doesn't mean say, you can't use it for business purposes. It has the PC list presentation facility, but it has very good connectivity with Apple products and it ships with all the product, with all the cables that you need to hook it up. So what have we learned about ultra-portable LED projectors? For about £500, an LED projector will enable you to project an image of up to 100 inches corner to corner from a variety of source devices, including your laptop, your tablet PC or your Blu-ray player. All of the models we looked at also allow you to play content from a USB memory stick or an SD card. The ultra portable LED projectors we looked at are light, compact and easy to carry around in a bag or a carrying bag. These projectors are very versatile. You can use them for business presentations and then take them home and watch a movie. They are easy to use even if you have never used a projector before. The projectors we looked at have a long life of 20,000 to 30,000 hours. So if you're in the market to buy an LED ultra portable projector, what are the things that you should really consider? The first is, is it bright enough? If you're using the projector in a normal living room environment or a small office, 500 lumens or even 300 may well be enough. If you have an envir environment where there's a lot of outside sunlight coming through the windows straight onto the projection surface, it may not be. So that's worth, worth checking. The next thing is, check the feature list. Does it, for example, is it compatible with 3D? 3D might not be important to you now, but it will be perhaps at some point in the future. These projectors can last up to 10 years. So make sure that you check all the features that you want now and that you might need in the foreseeable future. The other thing is, check the list of features for is it compatible with the devices that you have if you have an ipad is it compatible with that um, if you want to use different file formats for example in your presentations does it is it does it support all the file formats that you might want finally if you want to use the projector as a standalone device check the built-in audio is it loud enough can you hear the soundtrack of the movie or is the, is, if you're doing a presentation, will your meeting participants be able to hear the sound coming from your video or your PowerPoint? That's all from us on LED Ultra Portable Projectors. I hope you found this tech guide very useful and if you have any suggestions for other tech guides or how we can improve for future productions, just email us at info at for now, goodbye and thanks for joining us.